Good day, my name is Mike Bellinger. I'm a service tech with RL Detman Company. We are the Bell & Gossett representative for Michigan and Northern Ohio. Today, I'd like to demonstrate to you a little demo model we have here which shows the point of no pressure chain. What happens when you're pumping into or away from the point of no pressure chain. So what we have here is we have a uh, expansion tank. This is a compression tank. Um, connected to the bottom here is our, our air separator. So this is our point of no pressure change. Over here we have a pump which is pumping away from it. Right, through the system, through this flow meter, which we are not using for this demonstration. Through the, the pump, the rest of the system, back into the air separator our point of no pressure change. We have some gauges here which show our tank pressure. Okay, the tank pressure is our uh, static fill pressure of the system. Um, it's not a very big system, so our pressure is pretty low. And in this gauge, we have the suction pressure on the pump, and the other gauge is the discharge pressure on the pump. Okay. We'll be able to read those pressures with both of the pumps operating. Right? When, the, when we're pumping away from the system, we should have a positive pressure, and when we're pumping into the point of no pressure change, we should have a negative pressure. Up here we have an old style oiler that you can made of glass so you can see the water level. This is our vent, and uh, thankfully we've added some dirt so that you can see the water level. Um, and so now I'm going to turn the pump on and pump away from the point of no pressure. Now our pump is running. You can see that the light is on. Tank pressure has not changed. On the suction side of the pump, we've got about a half of a PSI there. Um, and on the uh, discharge, we've got about six and a half pounds of pressure. So. So this pump is running right now, and we're pumping away from this point of no pressure change through the pump into the system. Here's our air vent, and you can see that the water level on that has not changed. We're not drawing any air in here. Okay. Through the system and back to the point of no pressure change. Now, I'm going to turn on the pump and pump into the point of no pressure change. But I won't have a lot of time because what's going to happen is once I turn that pump on, the water, because the system, the gauges will go into a negative pressure, the system will go into a negative pressure. And it's going to draw this water level. You'll see that in this vent. Draw it down. And um, we'll start drawing in air. So I can't have it on for too long. Okay? So, once this pump comes on, we're going to pump into this point of no pressure change okay, through the system, and we will be in a negative pressure here at the suction side of the pump. Let me walk over here and keep your eye on the vent there. Turn this on. Turn this on, and it's drawing the water down, and now the gauges are in a negative pressure. So that's why you want to pump away from the point of no 